Babylon's idols in the true God. Bel has bowed down, Nebo Stutsava. The idols have become loads for the animals and the cattle. The things that you carry are burdensome, a load for the weary animal. They stooped over, they have bowed down together. They could not rescue the burden, but have themselves gone into captivity. Listen to me, house of Jacob, and all the remnant of the house of Israel, you who have been carried by me from birth and have been carried from the womb. Even to your old age I will be the same, and even to your graying years I will carry you. I have done it, and I will bear you, and I will carry you and I will save you. To whom would you liken me and make me equal, and compare me, that we would be alike? Those who lavish gold from the bag and weigh silver on the scale, hire a goldsmith, and he makes it into a god. They bow down, indeed they worship it. They lift it on the shoulder, carry it, and set it in its place, and it stands there. It does not move from its place. Though one may shout to it, it cannot answer. It cannot save him from his distress. Remember this, and be assured. Recall it to mind, you wrongdoers. Remember the former things long past, for I am God and there is no other. I am God, and there is no one like me. Declaring the end from the beginning, and from ancient times things which have not been done, saying, My plan will be established, and I will accomplish all my good pleasure. Calling a bird of prey from the east, the man of my purpose from a distant country. Truly I have spoken. Truly I will bring it to pass. I have planned it, I will certainly do it. Listen to me, you stubborn-minded, who are far from righteousness. I bring near my righteousness, it is not far off. And my salvation will not delay. And I will grant salvation in Zion, and my glory for Israel.